life, love, relationships. Wait, we're going to give away all our secrets? Welcome to The Man Perspective with Kane Man and the Dawn. Today on The Man Perspective, we're just doing an update on the current status in the election. What are your thoughts? Where do you think it's going from here? Do you think it's going too far? Basically, it's just a check-in. So what do you think? Well, so far? well, we got a new president. Yep. <laughs> I don't care how you slice it. We got ourselves a new president. And uh, I think the last that I heard, he's just now starting to get the briefings, which yeah. he was being denied at one point of being briefed. Uh, because I guess Donald Trump didn't want to concede or recognize him as still the hasn't. winner. Yeah, still hasn't. And uh, all his law lawsuits are pretty much are going out the window. I mean, they're not uh, they're not even counting it. You know, they're saying, hey, where's the fraud? Show us. Prove it to us. And his lawyer, <laughs> good old Rudy, Rudy mm -hmm. Giuliani, is sweating, trying to say, hey, there's fraud. And they're like, well, show us where the fraud is. And he can't prove it. And you know how it is in court. You can't prove it, throw it out. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> that's what that's they've the been doing. That's the thing. Um, the majority of the lawsuits, they have been uh, shooting them down. There are a couple that are moving forward. I'm not quite sure on the details of it. I, I, just, I just heard a, a couple of them are moving forward, I guess, you know, for more information. Yeah. Um, and I kind of agree. Um, you know, if there is evidence of it, like, you know, voter fraud or, or whatever, whatever, the, whatever the the allegation is, you can talk about it all day. But at some point, you, you got to come forward with any kind of evidence. Now, the one thing I did see is that there are a lot of people. Um, and I don't know. I don't know the exact number. I just kind of heard it. uh earlier today and wasn't paying full attention, but I did hear that a couple people, uh, quite a few are coming forward under sworn affidavits saying that, you know, they're witnesses to it, but they don't really go into much detail. Maybe that's because it's on a sworn affidavit and they can't, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Um, but it, to me, it's kind of like, you know how we're all suffering from um what do they call it uh quarantine fatigue or pandemic fatigue yeah yeah i'm kind of to the point now where i'm suffering from election fatigue yeah right <laughs> i just i want it to be over yeah. so whatever whatever the outcome is and let's face it uh, at this point i don't think it's going to change um unless they uncover something huge right, right. and then then it's really a bigger problem because an election is supposed to be secure. It's, it's sacred. It's, it, it should be the most secure thing we as Americans do. Correct. Um, and if we find that it's not, and it's, it's more widespread than one isolated state or area. Now we have a bigger problem. It, it's at that point, it's not even the fact that, you know, perhaps one person was, frauded out of winning or whatever the case may be, whatever that initial outcome is, um, we have a bigger problem now because yeah. that means our one, one thing that we as the American people do where it's supposed to be secure and sacred is now not. So now we have a bigger problem. But you, but you know what though? I think that this election, what's interesting is that we ended up using old technology okay because yeah. it wasn't computers involved which True. means russia couldn't get involved to do whatever they wanted to do you know remotely through their servers and through their you know network or try to infiltrate our network and because we had a lot of mail-in but ballots i think this is probably one of the most secure and safest election ever because nobody could really get to us you know what I mean? Like Russia couldn't do anything. China couldn't do anything. They couldn't log into any, you know, server or anything or any kind of network because it was all paper ballot. 
It was all mail in ballot. And because it was all mail in ballot, you know what I'm saying? It was already certified. I mean, they already had the count. They had the people to count it and so forth. And they took their time doing it. And they even recounted, you know, and, you know, it's secure. True. They couldn't do anything. And that's the thing that was interesting that this is the first time that China, Russia, you know, not even North Korea, nobody could really log in and try to, you know, fudge the numbers. Because it was all mail-in ballot counting. Get yourself back into the swing of things and listen to the man perspective. Put your mask on. After these commercial breaks, you better sit down and tune back in because things are about to get crazy. It's about to get heated. So sit back and enjoy the ride on the man perspective. Only on the man perspective with K-Man and the Dumb. You know what I'm saying? More so than anything. And because of that, I think that kept the integrity of the voting aspect of it. You know what I mean? Going back to that yeah. quote unquote old technology, paper ballot. You know what I mean? You go to paper ballot <laughs> and then for you to fudge, you know? You either got yeah. it or you don't, and you count it. And that's that. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm not one for conspiracy theories and um you know, the mysterious happenings that can't be explained to right. me. There, there's no such thing as a coincidence. If something happens, it was intended to happen or something led up to that end point. Right. Um, but you're right from any type of outside interference. It should have been. That. Yeah. It, yeah. There couldn't be. Couldn't so be. <laughs> what, Which but I right. like, <laughs> but I always look at something from both sides. Right. Cause mm-hmm. I want to, you know, before I make an assumption, uh, oh, I try not to assume, but I, before I make a decision, I, I want to understand it from both sides, right? So I, I agree with you 100% that it should have been the safest election. But from the other side, if they, if they do uncover some type of fraud, that means it was done in country, in house. Right. To me, that makes it worse because I expect it from other countries, right? Right. Because who we elect as a president will affect, um, our dealings with said country, um, any possible sanctions, any possible deals, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. right? So yeah, they have a big stake in it because who we elect may affect them. It may benefit them. Right. Um, so with them not being able to do it, flip side of the coin, if it actually did happen, that means it was done by our own people. Yeah, but do you know what the thing is? Is that uh, the great thing about it is there was too many people watching, number one. Yeah. And too many people making sure that, you know, the votes were going to be counted. So Absolutely. keep that in mind. So no, and I think this is the issue too, no state wanted to come up short. You follow yeah. what I mean? Like they wanted to make sure, listen, no state is going to say, hey, we found this or we found this fraud or, you know, this is not right or the numbers don't match because then it looks bad on that state. Yeah. You, you follow what I mean? So they was very, very careful. And I guess that's why it took so long for them yeah. to, you know, which, you know, I appreciate it. They took, what, three, four days before we actually knew who, who was going to be the president, you know? And so, because yeah. of that, they really took their time to make sure that each state by by the laws and made sure that everything was, was you know, they crossed their I's, they dotted their T's, you know, everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or dot their eyes across the T's. <laughs> and, and honestly, the reverse. <laughs> that, that's why I say, if if there is any real evidence of it, bring it forward, bring it to light. Otherwise, let's move on. Gosh darn, well, I'll be a rattlesnake under the Texas sun. Are you tweeting again? Get off that doggone tweeter and listen to the Man Perspective with K Man and the Don. Yeah. And and at this stage right now, I mean, he blew him out of the water. And, you know, I mean like three oh was it three oh nine or something to like two fourteen. I mean, it was way, way over, you know, way over the limit. So I mean, yeah, you know, he won. You know, face oh, yeah. it, he won. He lost. Don, you lost. <laughs> Sally Donald, you lost. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Pack your bags, you know what I mean. Get the get the U-Haul ready, and <laughs> you know, come January twenty, check yourself on out, man. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Chuck yourself on out. And, and you know, I mean, we're, we're ready for a new change. Something has to happen. You know, things going to have to change. And, uh, you know, everything is on the up and up, man. All this fighting and trying to hold on and say, hey, he didn't win. No, he did win. He blew you out of the water, man. And that's that. You know, people got tired, I guess, of, of, of the nonsense and said, the heck with this, yeah, man. You know, possible, and yeah, yeah and, they, and they voted. You know, so the vote stands. Other countries are acknowledging him as did the president-elect, you know, Joe Biden. So, you know, congrats to him and his team. And he's getting his team together and making it diverse. And, you know, he's doing his thing. So give him yeah. a chance. It's like we gave Donald Trump a chance. Give him a chance. Let's see what he could do. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, politicians are politicians, but, you know, we got to give them a chance. And we got to believe at some point that they at least for us, you know, going to help us some way, somehow, you know, financially, economically, you know, socially, you know, put those programs out there, help us out, give these people some help, people losing their jobs, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and you know, unemployment benefits, you know, re revamp that, uh, you know, stimulus money, get that money out to everybody, you know, whatever it is, 1200 1500 2000 whatever the heck it is, give it to us, man. You know, people need it. People got uh, uh, homes to save and, and food to feed and, and you know, you know, they got to yeah. live. And then on top of that, we, we, you know, we have this pandemic that's that's going on. So, you know, please do what you got to do. Make it happen. And, uh, you know, let's let's put an end to it. Put that hammer down, man. He won. Get that man a handshake and, and gracefully bow yourself out of it. You know what I mean? That would be the yeah. best thing for him to do right now. The save face is to gradually bow his way out of it and say, listen, man, I lost. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, good luck. Here's the man perspective. Now that's a question you should ask. We're right here where we've always been. I just figured I'd throw that out there. Tune into the man perspective. It's about to get hot in here, so we're about to turn up the heat. Get your daily fix with the man perspective. So tune into the man perspective. With K-Man and the Don. With K-Man and the Don. You know, all of this, I'm not going to attend his inauguration, and I don't think he won. I ain't going to recognize him. Come on, man. You're just making it worse for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're going to build a library that nobody's going to want to go to. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's, it's all based on lies and this and that. So you don't want you don't want that legacy behind you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, every president has their legacy that they, you know... It, Remember, being a president is a tough job. It's supposed to be a tough job, you know, because oh, yeah. you're dealing with countries. You're dealing with, so don't make a mockery of it and joke around with it, and, and and you know tell people one thing and you doing something totally different, you know. Yeah. You I know, agree. I don't think the I don't think the you know the election is 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 right. What do you mean? What are you talking about? This is what we've been doing for years. Now all of a sudden, you 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 saying something different, you know. Oh, I think everything's a fraud. No. Why? Because you going up against, you know what I mean? Because you're in the election, <laughs> you know, but hey, you, you know, you got to you got to set up a set a better example. And and yeah. that's that's what it really comes down to, man. And, and now it's to the point he got to save face, man. Him, his family, his daughters, all of them, they got to save face and bow out gracefully. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your time. You did the best you can with what little you have. You know, you didn't have that much experience, but hey, you tried to guide this country the best way you can. You know what I mean? Thank God we didn't have any major wars behind this, right? No. Yeah. And that's it, man. You know, I salute to you. You know what I mean? Thank you for your service. Keep it moving. You know, let somebody else get in there and, and do what they got to do. Yeah. Keep this country safe. Keep this country moving. Keep us, you know, economically sound and, and and just move on into the future man that's that's it that's all you could do right now and that's all he could say yeah so that's that's my perspective it's the man perspective please get at us and let us know your perspective reach us at the man perspective at gmail.com or use the hashtag the man perspective on twitter but make sure to keep your headphones in so you can listen to The Man Perspective. Don't go anywhere. After these commercial breaks, you better sit down and tune back in because things are about to get crazy.
it's about to get heated. No doubt with a mask. You better believe it. We're tuning in and giving you the best only on The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dom. Now you heard our perspective, it's time to hear yours. Get at us at themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective.